Hi, I'm Auntie Dawn. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm preparing beef. So what I have here is a four pound chuck roast that has been rolled and tied. I'm going to start by cutting the string. Makes me feel almost bad as decasing sausage does given how, how much work I know it is casing sausage up, but it's got to happen. All right, so now I'm going to separate it out. Sometimes it's multiple pieces of meat that have been bound together, but it looks like this time it is just one. Okay, so now I'm going to take my salt and sprinkle it all over. This is a thicker piece of meat than the chicken that we did before, and so it's going to take more salt. Okay, now I'm going to work the salt in, making sure I've gotten in, into all of the crevices. Now I'm going to wrap it up and stick it in the fridge. Now it's been a day since I put that chunk of chuck roast in the fridge and I'm ready to do the next step, which is to take it out and then I'm going to unwrap it. And you can see there's no visible salt left. It's all sunk into the flesh. So now I'm going to take my plate with a rack on it and transfer the beef to the rack. And now I'm going to find a place to put it in the fridge. Finding some place to put something this big in the fridge without it touching anything and there being plenty of air around it for cool, dry air to circulate is the most challenging bit. I have prepared a place right here and I'm going to slide it in and you can see that it's not touching anything else. There's enough room for it to air cure. So here's my chunk of fridge cured chuck. And it looks almost like jerky on the outside. Like the whole thing is just going to be un unbelievably dry and tough. But in fact, it is going to be very nice once it's been sliced thin. So you can see one of my slices here. It's quite thin. And you can see it is against the grain. So that'll cook up nice and tender. I'm going to cut any big pieces of fat, but the best parts of the chuck are where the fat is marbled into the meat. That is these little tiny ribbons of fat in the meat that on cooking will break down and make the whole thing very tender and flavorful. This is the same technique that I used for making broccoli beef or beef stir fry. And so you can see now that I've cut into it, you can see the inside of this chunk of beef is still quite moist. It does not dry out on the inside, just on the outside, which lets you get a really nice browning on it when you cook it. And it really concentrates the flavor. Add a little bit of cooking fat here. I'm using ghee. Okay, now I'm going to add my beef. All right, now it's started to brown, so I'm going to stir it up. Okay, now that nearly all the pink is gone, I'm going to scrape it all up to one side of the pan and add some low salt tamari. If you use the full salt stuff, it may well get a little too salty. And now I'm going to scrape it all to the side of the pan again, give it another dousing with the soy sauce. Let that cook off. Now I'm going to remove it from the heat. 